Hey guys, uh, as I showed you yesterday, my speed all was well off. Um, so I'm going to show you my way of calibrating it. There's lots of ways you can do this, but this is kind of the easiest for me this morning. Uh, on these, you tell your speed all the circumference of your tyre, and then every time it sends a pulse up, it does the maths and tells you how fast you're going. Now this one, for some reason, hasn't liked the mass I've given it. I've given it the right circumference, which is 1810 millimetres. I just happen to know that. Piece of chalk on the floor, push it forward, another piece of chalk, easy. But it's wrong. So, what I'm going to do, I've taken the sat nav out of the car, and can't find the, the squidgy pad's been added to one of these things, so I can't stick it on my tank. So I've just zip tied it on. What I'll do is, I'll turn this on, and I'll go for a ride. Now, this will obviously give me the correct speed to GPS. Uh, I just, I don't know how to use this thing, so. Change route, services, clear it, done, sod it. Uh, so what I'll do is, I'm going to have to blur this out. I'm going to take this for a ride. If I can get this up to 100, and then take the, for easy maths, take the speed off this, whatever this is, say that's 100 and this says 50, I know that I, I need to reduce my wheel circumference by 50%. Waiting for a valid GPS signal, there we go. Oh, great, fucking miles per hour is right underneath the... underneath the thingy, right. Just move that over a little bit and hope it doesn't fall out. Right, so whatever, I can do it like that. I've got a pen and piece of paper in case I don't get the numbers I want. What's clicking? I don't know. So let's see. 2, 3, 6, 8, 10, 13, 15. <laughs> I'm instantly getting bad numbers, so... So my clock says I'm doing 100, and this says I'm doing 25. I'm expecting it in the 30 to 35 region, so... Hundred and twenty-five, right. So the first reading uh, I'm gonna write COSO and GPS. Now I'm writing this down for obvious it's a simple maths, but the COSO said 100, the GPS said 25. I know 25 goes into 104, so I need to divide it by 4. 1080 divided by 4 equals 250 and 20. So 270. Right. So here it says 1810. I need to change that. So I'll put that to a zero, that to a two, and that to 70. So now it says 270 millimetres, which is obviously wrong. That's not what we're doing. I didn't need to write that down, but I'm just writing it down for uh, just in case. It need, it's needed later. So you'll have to do this a couple of times just to make sure it's right because you'll get closer every time. now it's off really badly, which I expected to be honest. I 
I've got 21 on my clock and 36 on the actual, 37. So, my initial maths didn't sound right in my head anyhow. I, as I said, I expected it to be around a third. Oh, it's flipping upside down, doesn't know which way it's doing. Right, it's a 40, 25. Just slow it down a little bit, 40, 23. 37 9 40 24 right I said a third before, so I'm going to set it to one third of the wheel diameter, which I happen to know is 576, because I did the maths earlier. What did I say? Fifty sixty five. Right, so oh how do you do the maths the other way around? Uh sixty five Let's calculate on this damn thing. As you can tell, I don't. I only use this phone when I'm on the bike. Uh, right. Well, if that's fifteen sixty-five, that means it's at one hundred and uh, one hundred and thirty. So I need to reduce that by. Ah, right, yeah. If I reduce that by thirty percent, which what did I put it as? Five seven six. Uh, 576 is, uh, it's going to be 5.76 times 30 equals 172.8, so we'll call it 173, 173.5. Seven six equals three hundred and ninety seven. Is that right? Oh, look at that. You know, I saw that the other day. I actually went on a recovery with a mate. He says, oh, it's, it's a mate of his needed a car picked up. Didn't say what it was. He says, you'll love it when we get there. There it was. It was a Volkswagen Scirocco. One of the Mark 1s. Look at this. No traffic coming from the left for once. Yeah, couldn't get out. Right, so... That's saying 40, that's saying 38, that's close. See how close we are. Let's increase the speed. Change things a little bit. Oh, God knows. I've got... Oh, is that 50? 50 and 43, so I need to up it a little bit. 
So that's down 6%. That's 100, uh, that's 88. So I'm missing 12%. So if I up 397, 397 times 1.5. One two. That's how you add twelve percent. Equals four 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 point six. So we'll call that. F round it up to four four five. Try it again. Oh, that's looking good already. 18 and... Mm, hang on. The GPS takes a little bit of time. But when you get up to a speed, it kind of averages it out and it's pretty good. Right, I'm showing the... Right, now this is a 40, so... 40, 39, 37, 36, yeah, it's about, it's close enough. 38, 39, 40, 40 on that, 39 on that. One mile an hour out, yeah I can deal with that. There, 40, 40. And there we have speed or calibration using GPS. So if you have a phone with GPS on, you can get your track, your uh, one of them speedos for that. If uh, you so wished, if not, you can just zip tie a, a doodah, a tom tom. What I will say with the tom tom is though, I think there must be a way of locking the screen so it doesn't rotate. Because if I go like that and I hit a bump, <laughs> it won't do it now. But earlier, it didn't know which way it was facing and uh, flipped it upside down. I wish it had done this before 27, 26. One mile. You're allowed 5%, I think, so that's close enough for me.